Thursday. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Lauber. It is a warm start here across the coastal bend. We've got temperatures, actual air temperatures in the 80s for nearly everyone here in the coastal bend. So have the wide view for yourself. Figure out how hot you are feeling in your neighborhood because there's a big difference between what the actual air temperature is and how our body is perceiving it. So the feels like temperature is there in yellow. We've got some differences here this morning. 82 in Robstown, feeling like 90 degrees. 84 in Kingsville, feels like 95. 83 at the airport, feeling like 95 too. But yeah, we are seeing those differences all around the coastal bend, and it's going to translate to another hot afternoon where we've got heat alerts on deck already for a good chunk of the afternoon into the early evening hours. So you'll want to make sure you're taking those heat safety tips up a notch today because it's another humid one for us. Humidity not really dipping down very much as we head on into the later part of your Thursday. The winds will be picking up around 2, 3, 4 p.m. We'll see sustained winds 20 to 25 miles per hour, but those wind gusts pick up 30 to 35 miles per hour. Yes, a disrespectful winds kind of day for us here. And much like what we're seeing this morning, where there's a bit of a breeze, some moving and shaking in the air, actually helps us out because our visibility hasn't been too bad today. Uh, but a little bit of a loud start to the morning. That'll be the case as we head on into Friday too. Look at the wind direction here with our gusts. Not changing a whole lot south or southeast. That's what we've got. So it is going to be feeling warm and humid. Very summer like here as we go through your Thursday and likely the next couple of days. So today's flavor of heat alert, heat advisories. That is when we expect our feels like temperature or heat index to range between 110 and 114, lasting a period of two hours or longer. So if you're not in a heat advisory today, one difference that's notable, inland portions of San Patricio County have previously been included the past couple of days. They're not today. Doesn't mean you're not gonna be hot, it means you probably won't be in that criteria for two hours or longer. So heat safety tips, they bear repeating. Make sure you're taking those breaks indoors or in air conditioning to cool down. Stay hydrated, of course. Caffeine is great. I think it's nectar of the gods, but you need to drink some water because that's what your body needs. And things like coffee, uh, adult beverages, energy drinks, those are desiccants. They work to dehydrate you. So you need to replenish with some water, some good old H2O. And look before you lock. Never leave anyone or anything in vehicles during these hot conditions because look, by noon, 1 o'clock, we're already in the middle 100s. Fast forward to the part of the afternoon, 3 p.m., we've got some 110s on the map, 111 in Kingsville, 112 in Farfurias. And even after the sun goes down, still feeling like the 90s out there. That's the temperature that your body will respond to, and you need to make sure you're helping your body out. Now, some good news at the tail end of the forecast. Looks like we may get some rain back in the forecast. In fact, our uh, rainfall outlook from May 30th to June 3rd looking a little better. Our probability of seeing more rainfall than we typically do looking a little better. So does it mean we're guaranteed rain? No, but it means our hopes are not in vain, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. This is not over the next seven days. It's the long frame. It's going to be the tail end of the month, but at least through the 29th, we're looking hot with sunshine, hot, humid, and breezy conditions.